Frederick, you have explained this so well, and you've described it so well. It's so expressive, the whole narrative of um, how you have been dosed with this drug and the actual effects on you. It's absolutely astonishing to me that, in a sense, what really happened was you became a prisoner of the psychiatrist. You were a prisoner of the psychiatrist. The psychiatrist sort of held the keys to your freedom. And in order for you to even obtain, as you say, a kind of semi-freedom, you felt you had to walk halfway toward her explanations and her understandings, which are so wrong in the face of ongoing neuroweapon and directed energy weapon use on you. And that's something we are going to probe much further in all of our conversations. Um, so I kind of want to emphasize that what really has happened now is you are still not fully free based on what the police have told her, based on what uh, the mayor and the prefet, and um, you told me earlier the prefet in France is like the police commissioner, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's in charge of all the police of the, the department and uh, department in France, it's like a state in the, in the US. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sort of the chief of police in that area. It, yeah. in, in, in American terms, I'm just trying to find an analogy. Yeah. So yeah, so, so the prefet, the local police, the mayor have all colluded in a sense to have the psychiatrist be the arbiter of your fate and the psychiatrist, both the doctor at that hospital who said to you, we can't give you nothing, even though you had just experienced the most massive toxic reaction to the kind of drugs that they pumped into your body at that time, which they could see and which they ignored for an entire day before they acceded to your request to change the dosage or change the drug. All of these people could see what was going on, and yet they clung to their guns and they said, no, we have to give you something. We have to give you a dosage. And this person, the psychiatrist, who was kind of playing around with dosages, 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, 30 milligrams, and then coming back to 20 and then 10 of this drug, Abilify, I think is what it's called, right? Eripiprazole. Yeah. Yeah, so she's, yeah. Giving you, she's giving you an injection now every month, 300 milligrams of this incredible antipsychotic, which, is, which has the deadly effect of blanking you out, destroying concentration and focus, destroying all normal functioning of your cognitive processes and your ability to exist as a free and joyful individual in the world. She's... You are now under this regime where for six months, right up till September, you are going to have to go in to get a forced injection. So this sounds absolutely medieval 